It's um oh hey guys, morning. It's uh it's five five twenty-five in the morning, it's Wednesday the twenty-third of January. And by my calculation that means I get to see my daughter tonight. Yes! Hey, I'm actually oh, don't look too bad for a guy who hasn't trained much. Anyways guys, I uh, just had a shower, it's five thirty in the morning. I'm gonna have a coffee. First thing I'm gonna do before I leave, I wanna get something done, I wanna feel productive. So I'm going to have a coffee and I'm going to edit up uh, a vlog for you guys. Not the one that I made yesterday, but uh, the one about selling everything I own. So I hope you enjoy. Without further ado, what coffee have we got? So, uh, <laughs> so what have we got here as far as coffee goes? Ah, Robert Tim's Espresso. Thank you very much. Any sugar? Two sugars. That's us. Alright guys, we're nearly done, it's processing, we've got three minutes to go, the title of the video is going to be, I just sold everything I own, in brackets, almost, and it's talking about my, my approach to a, a more minimalist type of life, so it's uh, 5.59 in the morning, we're leaving at around about 6 o'clock, which is great, I'm going to pack my computer up once that's done, I've got my Chinese food from last night, and a couple of coffee sachets. And that's it. Done. Done like a dog's dinner. That's what they used to say, isn't it? But what I will say, what I will tell you is that this coffee tastes like shit. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. So, as soon as I leave here, we're gonna fill up the car with petrol, and that will be our sixth petrol stop of this trip. Um, so yeah, let's do it. There's the beast. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Looks like I brought someone with me from Ellis. That's not funny, man. I'm not laughing, guys. Don't, don't, don't judge me, but it looks like I've brought a bird with me. You poor bastard. What do I do? What do I do, guys? I'll tell you what I do. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to leave it up to God. Look at that sunrise. That's beautiful. Can you see it? Guys, final shout out. Coppergate Motel room to move that's their motto and I'll tell you what there certainly was there was room to move it was a great night I actually had a really good sleep Coppergate Motel Mount Isa are we done? we're not done that is the the Overlander Hotel and that's where I had dinner last night Decent, but not as good as that Chinese. What do we got here? Look at the situation, guys. We've got 13 hours and 40 minutes, apparently. 1,161 Ks. 
which is actually less than I did yesterday, so we're halfway there. I had thoughts of taking another night, staying in Townsville and then driving a second day. Look, here we go. What does that say? Oh, you didn't say it. It said 906 k's to Townsville, so those are my two options. Either 906 kilometers or 1161. Let's see. Look at this, guys. This is amazing. Everybody. We have made it to a place called Klong Curry. It's got 1,500 people that live here. But it actually looks like a little bit more to be honest. I'm quite surprised. Uh, I'm looking for a petrol station currently and it looks as if we've just found one. Petrol stop number seven. And we'll be off. Alright guys. So the petrol's in. I've got myself a can of Red Bull for the trip. Full tank of gas. So uh, we're gonna bang out about 400 Ks over the next three and a half hours. And uh, before we do, look, I I've gotta sort this out. Look at this fucking bird. Look at this shit. I feel terrible, guys. It's still there. It stinks. God. Any vegetarians out there? Oh fuck. No. I feel fucking terrible, but it had to happen. And now we're gonna clean the windscreen. Okay guys. Another update. We're about 300 k's down the road. Down this one. I came from that way going this way and uh, I thought you know it's pretty picturesque there's not a lot around I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you guys the bit of the scenery mate we're in Queensland I'm gonna have to change my number plates over to Queensland ones within three months of course which I'll take three months to do and yeah feeling good man feeling good that Red Bull did the trick I haven't eaten anything yet so <coughs> In the other video I, I, I swallowed a fly. Well, I think I did. Anyways guys, not a hell of a lot to say so um, I'm going to try not to eat any more of these flies and let's keep going. Okay. We've made it. Stop number seven. So I'm just watching this as I go by. Uh, this is to Townsville, and then I'm gonna make a decision on what I wanna do after that, but we're at five hours and 20 minutes to go. Just under 500 Ks. I'm thinking, if it thinks I'm gonna get there at 5.30, uh, sorry, 3.30, I'm thinking around three o'clock. It's quarter past 10, let's do it. All right, we're here, we're good, we're back in action. We've got a full tank of gas. I've got a uh, bottle of water, nice and cold. Feels delicious, and um, someone's looking at me funny because I'm talking to a camera in my car by myself. But that's what you get for trying to make YouTube videos. Anyways, 497 k's to Townsville. That could be our stop, our final destination for today. There's going to be some water. We're going to be in a town of 200,000 people with some fucking ocean. Yes! I cannot wait. Ah, oh, it's just. But it is 497 k's away, so that's at least four hours, if not five. And um, basically, before we go out of reception, I'm going to do what I forgot to do before and download a couple more YouTube videos to watch, because it's very important. Watch slash listen to. Of course, I'm not watching it while I'm driving, but I'm listening to it. And so I think we're going to go finance, we're going to go property, and we're going to go bodybuilding. Okay? The other thing I did want to mention before I uh, left is that the petrol just keeps getting cheaper and cheaper. It's $1.32.9 here. I have not, like, seriously, <laughs> usually in Alice Springs when you're filling up your car, you're like trying to, you know how 
the uh, you know the, the the dollar amount ticks by as well as the liters, and you know you're trying to f figure it out in your head. It's always closer to two times the amount of liters is the price, whereas this. The price is almost the same as the liters. 25.16 liters cost $33 and I am stoked. Now I do want to ask you just one question before I do head off. What would you do? WWYD, what would you do? Would you do the same as Jacob in this situation? Okay, you've got three hours of great YouTube content to watch or listen to. You've got four hours of absolute nothingness to drive through and you've got half an ounce of weed in the back of your car. What are you going to do? Well, don't tell anyone, but I'm going to do exactly what you thought I was going to do and <laughs> show you guys my little hiding space, which is in a shoe. And when we open up that, we pull out the goods. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. Open this up, pull out a wee, wee nugget, and roll myself up a couple of joints to smoke over the next few hours. Now I do need to be a bit more careful in Queensland and other states than I do in the Northern Territory because, you know, truth be told, marijuana is still illegal here in Queensland. So we stick it back there and forget about it. Eight point nine two liters, thirteen dollars ten. Stop number eight. As ridiculous as that sounds, and we're off again. Guys, so we're about 30 k's out from Townsville and I've booked a hotel so I'm heading there right now it's costing me $93 a night and I will show you guys exactly what it's like um, we've got our first drops of rain because we are definitely he heading into humid North Queensland country and uh, the, but what but what comes with that is nice green grass green mountains and things are looking a lot better and you know what I'm happy and that's the main thing so 30 k's away less than half an hour and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna check out on checkout I'm not gonna go early or anything I'm gonna check out at 10 o'clock take it easy to Cairns it's gonna take about three and a half hours and then I'm gonna check into my other place at 2 which is my Airbnb and then obviously my first priority is gonna be seeing Tate uh, but as far as the messages from my my ex have have been today She's not gonna make it easy Which is unfortunate <laughs> Because you know all I all I really need is her support in all of this I mean especially you know, I don't know anyone there. I'm fucking moved my whole entire life and she's still It's all about the trip to the US man it really is, that's what it's all about. If I cancel this trip to the US, it will improve things dramatically, I think. But I wanna hear her her reasoning why two weeks is such a big deal when she's been away from me for two months and you know, she, she, she's trying to say that if I go to the US in, in a week's time, I can't see Tate when I come to Cairns until I get back. That's what she's been saying. So I don't know what's going to happen when I get there, but you know, she's telling me stupid shit like I can't come into her house. She's going to get security if I come there. You know, I don't know what she's playing at. She just wants me to cancel this fucking trip. That's what she wants. And I don't. I don't know how I'm going to feel. 
Maybe I'll need a break from her after a month, after a week. You know, I don't want to cancel it yet, but it it, it could could quite possibly happen. So we'll, we'll have to see. All right, guys. I know things are different because I just saw a shop at like a butcher or like a grocery store or something, and on the front it said ice, like drinks and bait. It said bait on the store. I was like, what? But I, I guess when you live somewhere near the shore, near the ocean, they're gonna say bait on stores. Are they gonna sell bait with ice? It's normal. I'm completely out of the loop, man. I, I have been living in the desert for the last eight years and I've just completely lost the plot. And there is another thing that I've noticed. Every single house around here, or most of them, are on stilts or they're above the ground. And I remember someone at work telling me that these are like Queenslander houses. They're called Queenslanders and we are in Queensland, right? And I guess that's because there is such a big risk of flood because it rains every day. Oh, mate. Oh, we've got, we've got skyscrapers. We've got 10 story high buildings. I don't know if you can see, but I can. That's, <laughs> obviously I've seen this shit before, but I've never lived, well, Oh, this isn't even cans. I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. I thought this was cans, but it's not. It's Townsville. Very similar, though. Very similar population size. Um, I'm not sure about surroundings. Oh, mate, we've got water. We're by the ocean. That is ocean water, guys. Fuck yeah. Damn, it feels good to be in civilization again. I've literally been out in the middle of nowhere for two days straight. How many Ks have we done? I set this at the start of the trip, and it says not okay. How to help with the trap? Two thousand and fifty-two point eight kilometers. Right, my friends, we have arrived. We have arrived safe and sound. My legs feel like they're almost dead, but that's okay. So we're gonna go check out the room. We've got free Wi-Fi, free parking. In a king size room. So let's go. Right. Well, modest, but definitely everything I need. We've got a bed, we've got a big balcony actually, it looks quite good. Don't know about the view, but we've definitely got a nice balcony. And, uh, We've got a bed, a desk. I'm going to set my laptop up there and edit this video. We're going to watch some TV later. What's in there? Closet. Basic, basic essentials. We've got a microwave, kettle, toaster, and fridge with nothing in it. What's the bathroom like? That's always important, isn't it? Toilet, don't need to see that. Decent mirror. Shower's decent. I got it for under a hundred bucks. I mean, these days, like, seriously, these days, it doesn't matter where you stay. In fact, the more rural and the less population, it seems the more expensive it is, especially in the Northern Territory. But for, for $93, $94, it cost me, 94 Australian dollars, I'm happy. So I think we might call it a day here, guys. I'm gonna spend the rest of the night just um, chilling out. Like I said, editing, messaging a few people back, doing a few emails, and most importantly, looking forward to seeing my daughter tomorrow. Although, like I mentioned before, uh, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be too easy. So, just down there. So whatever happens tomorrow guys, wish me luck. I have a funny feeling she's saying this until I actually arrive and then things will improve, but if not, you know, I've got a, I've got a, a challenge in front of me. Another one. So, anyways guys, thanks for being here. We made it to Townsville. I'm not sure what the title of this video is going to be, but it's going to be something like Mount Isa to Townsville or part two of the trip or, you know, something like that. So thank you for being here. We're here in Townsville. It's my first time here. You know, every single place that I sort of went through up until this point, I've thought, oh yeah, I've seen this before. But we're in a new place. I feel good. 
Cairns is going to be a new place, of course. And, you know, it's pretty daunting thinking, fuck, I'm moving somewhere that I've never been before. I don't know anyone. But it doesn't take long to, to make new friends. And the more people, the more possibilities of meeting people you actually get along with. So that's what I'm looking forward to. As well as the other stuff. I don't know, I'm fucking rambling. I can't wait to get there, but I've got to wait another night. So thanks for coming along with me, keeping me company, and sane. My legs are dead, but it's all good. We've got 300 k's to go. Cannot wait to get there. Peace, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.